Hey guys, Colton here with Town & Country TV, and today we're gonna to talk about the best exhaust for your new F-150. Specifically today, we're gonna to go over the NDRP, the Magnaflow, and the Boiler. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna take all three of these exhausts, put them on a vehicle, and let you tell us which one you think is the best. So without any further ado, let's get these things opened up and looked at. All right guys, so as you saw, we've got these things unpacked, mocked up, put together, not completely, you know, bolted together with clamps and everything. We just wanted to kind of let you see what these look, look like off of the vehicle. We're actually going to start with the NBRP. Uh, they're, they're a pretty interesting company. They started in 2011. They actually do a lot of stuff like side-by-sides, UTVs, ATVs, which is kind of cool. They've got their, their hands in a little bit of everything. One cool thing about this one is cool, different, a little unique is instead of the dual pipes coming out the rear, it's actually a single pipe. And this specific one actually comes with everything you need to do, all kinds of different sound levels. If you want to keep both, both these resonators, you can, or you can delete it. It's kind of a cool option there. It's, a, it's an all-in-one exhaust, you know, that way you can kind of fine tune exactly how you want this thing to sound. One other very notable thing to mention is that this black tip starts at the last resonator and goes all the way down. I think that's really cool. So basically everything you see from the back is going to be that black color. We're going to slide right on over here to the Magnaflow exhaust. This is one of our favorite exhausts. We do a lot of these. Uh, Magnaflow's had our back for a very long time. And uh, again, specifically, we had the rights to do the black tips on the, the 21 plus F-150s. One thing notable on these is going to be a one year warranty on the coating. Um, this one actually keeps the factory resonator, which is really cool. They have a patented no drone technology. So this thing will not drone on the interstate. You won't even hear it driving on the interstate. But when you want that thing to sound loud, you get on the throttle and it definitely makes some awesome noise. So we've worked the Magnaflow a lot actually, and, and it's one of our favorite exhausts to work with. They're always good quality. They fit proper. And again, have an awesome noise without being overly loud when driving. So the last exhaust we're going to look at is going to be the Borla exhaust. This company was started in 1978. Uh, they're made in America. They're an awesome company. They make exhaust for all kinds of vehicles, any make, model, anything like that, specifically even older vehicles. But one cool thing they do have is they have their own mufflers and resonators that you can actually purchase to build your own exhaust out the way you want it. Uh, one thing I do want to note on here is it's kind of the different build uh, style they have. The pipes are a little bit uh, smaller on these. I think this is a 2.25 diameter exhaust and our piping that's going to be a two and a half. So it's going to be interesting what the, what, what the sound difference is on that. I'm sure they've done their research and they chose that pipe size to, to get the, you know, the best noise, deepest noise they can possible. And if we slide over here, you can see they actually have what they call black chrome. This is a really neat coating. Um, I think this would look really good on like a high-end build, like a platinum or a limited or something like that. It'll just be really neat, really clean looking, whereas these other matte black ones would look really tough on like an off-road style build. But the best part about any boiler exhaust is going to be the sick hat you get with your exhaust. I think I look pretty, pretty awesome in this thing. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get the truck up top that we're gonna use for this and start installing these exhausts and testing them out. So here you are guys, we're about to test out these exhausts, but before we do anything, I wanna go ahead and get some, some decimal meter readings from this, some, some in-cab noise and a drive-by. Um, we picked this TC Customs build that we're working on right now to, to throw these exhausts in and off of. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do right now is go ahead and get a decibel reading. So there we are, stock exhaust, 120.9 decibels. Uh, we're gonna go take this thing down the road, get a quick drive by and be right back for the next install. So now we're actually inside of the vehicle and as you can tell, there's really no cabin noise at all with the stock exhaust. You really don't hear it at all. Um, I'll, I'll give it a quick, a quick acceleration. Most of what you're hearing is gonna be intake noise. We're gonna see what these other exhausts sound like from the inside, the outside, and decibel test them to see kind of what you get from each one and, and what the sound quality is like. So now that we're back from testing out the stock exhaust, we're gonna get this thing up in the air and get the first exhaust installed. The first one that we're gonna look at is gonna be the NBRP exhaust. So we're gonna use a little YouTube magic and this, get this thing up in the air. So there it is, this thing's up in the air. We're gonna get our Master Tech Tyler to get this thing installed. That way we can get some testing done on it and see what you think. Before we go any further, I want to let you know we are going to be giving away one of these exhausts to one of you lucky people. Make sure you watch this whole video to see the details on how to go about winning this exhaust. Alright, so there it is. That's the install of the NBRP exhaust. As you'll notice, it's going to be the only one that has a single exit tip. The rest of them have dual exit tip. I'm really interested to see what kind of difference that makes in noise quality and how deep it is. Let's see how this thing reads out. All right, 
right there it is, 125 decibels. That's not a lot louder than that stock exhaust, but it's definitely got a meaner, deeper tone to it. Let's hop in this thing, do some drive-bys, and see how it sounds on the cab. So here we are inside of the vehicle with the NBRP exhaust installed. We're gonna hop on the interstate, get up to about 70, and see what the decibels look like under cruising conditions. As you can tell, this thing's got a deep, nice roar to it. Again, it's not overly loud, but you can definitely hear it in the cabin at the moment. Like I said, we can get up to 70 and kind of see what that looks like on the decibel meter. I am only going about 66, but as you can see, we're about 79, 80 decibels. Me talking is actually probably louder than the exhaust is, honestly. So here we've got the Borla exhaust installed. Again, this one has the dual tips coming out, unlike the MBRP. It also has a little bit smaller diameter tubing, as we saw when we kind of broke them down and, and just looked at them just on the ground. They do have this beautiful black chrome finish. I do really like that. That's a really awesome finish. But uh, let's, let's take a listen and see what kind of decibels that we can get from this thing real quick. All right, Tyler. <laughs> Not bad, kind of right on par with that NBRP. Again, just a little bit louder than, than the factory exhaust, but so much deeper and so much more rowdy sounding in my opinion. So we're hopping on the interstate with the Borla exhaust. Um, I do want to mention this is the S-type exhaust. They do have uh, touring that's a little quieter and they also have an attack that's a little louder. So let's, uh, let's get up to 70 miles an hour and kind of see about what this thing reads on the decimal meter around 70 miles an hour. So there, there it is, it's around 70 decibels. Um, I'm actually talking louder than that. That exhaust it is when you're just driving and, and letting the noise come through the cabin. So that's pretty, that's pretty good to see that, you know, I can talk in a normal voice louder than the exhaust is. That means you're not gonna have the exhaust, you know, over your conversation, you can still kind of conversate with people. And again, you get on a little bit, you hear that rumble from that Borla exhaust. So here we have the last exhaust installed. This is gonna be the Magnaflow black tip exhaust. A Couple things I wanna note about this while it's still in the air is that the Magnaflow exhaust actually keeps the stock resonator. Again, that stock resonator is not much bigger than, than all the other ones that we put on. Um, another cool thing about this particular exhaust is it actually fits from 15 all the way up to the new F-150. So that's something cool that they've been able to work in there. You know, less, less part numbers, more availability. So let's reach down here and, and see what kind of noise level it puts out. So, oddly enough, it actually registered a little quieter than the factory exhaust. It's a good bit deeper. It's got a much better noise to it. Sometimes you don't want it to be super loud. You just want to have that more quality noise. Um, we're about to hop in this thing, do a drive-by, and see what it sounds like on the interstate. So we're hopping on the interstate now with the Magnaflow exhaust. We're going to get a, a good <clears throat> test of the noise in the cabin. It's actually going to accelerate a little bit, get on the interstate. As you can tell, it, it's got a real nice tone to it. It's not overly loud, but you can definitely tell there's something not stock about this truck. Let's see what we got. So we're, we're hovering around, around 70 or so. Again, I talk louder than this exhaust sound, so, so that's really awesome to see that. You can, you can hear this thing when you want to get on it, and you can have a conversation with somebody while you're driving the vehicle. Again, they do have that no drone technology, and I, it, it really does work. Um, they also, again, retain that factory resonator. Um, that probably helps just a little bit as well, not having a, an aftermarket resonator that's probably a little bit more empty than that factory resonator. So 
So there it is, guys. Those are our tests on those three exhausts for the new F-150. Uh, again, that was the MBRP, Magnaflow, and Borla. And if you've made it this far, we really appreciate and thank you. And for doing that, we're going to extend that giveaway to you. The way you're going to handle that giveaway is to make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and comment which exhaust you like the most. If you win, you'll win that exhaust for your new F-150. Now let's be specific here. It's gotta be one of the exhausts that we showed on this video. You, there's no picking your own exhaust. It's gonna be one of those. In conclusion, I wanna say that you can't really go wrong as long as you buy a good brand exhaust. As long as it's got good quality, you know exactly how you want it to sound, and you can pick out kind of the style you like. There's a lot of good options out there, and we carry a lot of those on tccustoms.com. And, and don't forget that we do have free shipping for anything over $250. So make sure you check that out. Uh, thank you again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell notification on so you don't miss a thing. Peace.